Hello, this is Ibrahim Nassar with Ozen Engineering. In this video, we'll show you how to import a list of import touchstone files into ANSI circuit and HFSS 3D layout. In this demo, I will be using the ANSI Electronic Desktop 2024R2 release. To start, let's insert a new project and let's insert um, a circuit design by going to Project, Insert Circuit Design. Here we can skip defining uh, a material definition for the substrate, hit OK. OK, to be able to import the import model, uh, we can go first to view and let's select component libraries. Now the component libraries appear here. So we can go to symbols and click on models. And the, the, the component that we're going to use here is the import multi. So this component allows you to import multiple touchstone files at the same time. The first thing you have to do here is to define the number of pins. So the number of pins sets the type of the touchstone file that you can import. So if you, for example, set the number of pins to one, you will be able just to import touchstone files with 1P definition like S1P, V2P, Y1P. So in this example, let's use two. And here we define the, 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 the reference to ground. So there are multiple definitions that you can uh, select from here by having like a common reference for each pen or port, or you can have a, a common reference for all of them at zero volt. So let's use the implied reference to ground option here. And now to import the files, we just click on add files and let's navigate to the location of the files. So here I have them here. So here in this case, I'm gonna import uh, about five S2P files. The options you can uh, import are S2P, Y2P, and .ts files. Okay, so if we select them all together, we can import them. And now the list of the files are listed here. And now we click somewhere in the circuit or the schematic to insert the component. And once you're done, you can hit escape or right click and say finish. So now you see uh, the file um, that is selected is the project circuit one. So each time, if you just simulate this now, you will be able to simulate one file. However, in this uh, approach, there is a project variable that defined here with an index. So if you change the index here, the file name would be different and you can uh, use different files. So for example, I go to two, so you see the name of the file got changed. So let's keep it as zero. So now how to uh, to simulate all the files all once, to, one to go, once together. So first let's uh, create a simulation setup. So let's add port. Okay. And let's uh, define uh, a simulation setup. So let's add an XM solution setup and let's do a linear network analysis. And here we can define the frequency. So let's, for example, do from one to five with a linear step of 0 0.01. Hit OK and hit OK. And now uh, let's save this project somewhere. So let's solve it here, project one. So now if we just simulate, we will be able to view the S parameter file data for this file only. To be able to simulate them all together, we have an, to add an optometric setup. So to add to do that, we right click on optometrics and say add, and we do like a parametric sweep. And if we click add here, we can add the project variable that is defined with this component, which is only one option here, which is the element file index. And let's uh, define the start from zero. That's how it's defined since we have five files. So we would have uh, indices from zero to four. And with a step of one and you click add, sorry, and hit OK. OK, so now we have five variations of the index and hit OK. So now let's analyze all. Okay, so it's a quick circuit simulation. Now let's view the results. By right click on results, 
and select create standard report let's for example do a rectangular plot and here we can select whatever uh, as parameter data we want to see so let's say s21 for example and now if we go to families we can select to plot all the data for all coming from all the files so here let's use do all the values or you can select which one whichever one you need so if we select them all now we can plot the s parameter s21 of from all these files okay so that's how you see it so we see like the, the s21 of coming from the five different files that we imported that's it for this demo and thank you for watching